Today, we count down my favorite Bowling for Soup cover songs. Let's check it. Bowling for Soup is one of my favorite pop punk bands. I've not only seen the band live numerous times, but I've gotten autographs, had a drunk blackout picture taken with them. I don't even remember that happening. And even got to interview lead singer Jarrett Reddick earlier this year. The band is an all around great pop punk band. And as such, can dish out not only their own great songs, but their cover song renditions of other bands are just as great. And today we're gonna take a look at just that. My favorite Bowling for Soup cover songs, this is my favorite order from 10 to 1. Let's get into it. I'm also like eating some pizza here. It's really hot. It's cooling off. So that's also going to be a thing if you see me chewing in this video. First up is London Bridges by Fergie of the Black Eyed Peas. Back in 2006, Pepsi Smash's cover art featured Bowling for Soup covering Fergie of the Black Eyed Peas debut solo single, London Bridges. We all know that song. It is buried in our brain somewhere if you grew up in the early to mid 2000s. With Bowling for Soup being Bowling for Soup, they took a complete opportunity to make this song all of their own. While the original song is poppy and upbeat, the band kind of made it a little more grittier and more pop punk, drifted it in that direction. You can check out that as well as everything else on this list in the description below. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to all those, so moving on. Next up is Iran. Originally by The Flock of Seagulls. The band dished out this classic 80s hit from their 2002 album Drunk Enough to Dance. Flock of Seagulls were the cult classic band from the 80s who dropped this number one hit in 1982 off of their self-titled album. It's yet another song, kind of like London Bridges, where the band kind of makes it their own. Whereas the original version was definitely one of the definitive songs of the new wave era, Bowling for Soup takes it and puts a total punk twist on it, making it, as I said, all their own. The Jimmy Neutron theme song from the original Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius movie soundtrack. Debuting back in 2001, before the pop punk explosion happened in the early 2000s, I mean, I guess it was kind of going on with Enema of the State and Bowling for Soup was kind of doing their thing and Green Day was coming about and other bands were coming up, but I'm digressing. Bowling for Soup were the originators of the theme song for the Nickelodeon made movie, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. This was well before the movie had an adaptation that turned into an ongoing Nickelodeon cartoon series, animated cartoon series, which had a different band perform the opening theme song. The tune appeared again later on on Bowling for Soup's album. Bowling for Soup goes to the movies, which had a bunch of which had a bunch of songs that were either theme songs or soundtracks in famous popular movies, which dropped in 2005. The latest tune to be dropped as a cover song by Bowling for Soup is this next one, which is Sometimes I Don't Mind, originally by The Suicide Machines. It was dropped on May 31st, 2019 of this year. The song was released as a celebration for the band's 25th anniversary as a band, and was a one-off not attached to any album. The original tune, however, was off of Suicide Machines' 2000 self-titled album. Both are definitely worth a listen. They're both kind of night and day. The Suicide Machines one's more like, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, this is a Scott song but not really a ska song. And the Bowling for Soup one's like, yeah, man, we're a pop punk band. Summer 69 by Brian Adams. This song is my all time favorite version of this song, other than the original and MXPX's cover of this song from their on the cover one album being a close second. But this was released off of Bowling for Soup's 2000 album, Let's Do It For Johnny. Nothing really changed in the song except for kind of the speed. They kept all the harmonies there, all the licks, the bridges, all that stuff. Just kind of sped it up and kind of made it their own thing. The tune, however, was originally recorded two decades prior to the Bowling for Soup release. Off of Brian Adams' 1984 fourth studio album, Reckless. The song is still everywhere today. You can hear it on regular radio, rock radio, classic hits radio, the AM radio now probably because it's kind of old. It's like 30-ish years old. And the thing is, the song doesn't even feel dated, even though it has 1969 in it. Maybe it'll come back in 2069. Who knows? Next up is Hey Jealousy by the Gin Blossoms originally. Recorded and released on October 14th, 2016 for the band's 10th studio album, Drunk Dynasty. The cover brings a modern, more faster spin to the song. The song originally off of the Gin Blossoms, 1989 debut album entitled Dusted, has that late 80s slash early 90s slower feel about it where it's like new wave meets, hey, we're going into the 90s, so we gotta try something new. 
The tune didn't even break way until re-recorded in 1992 by the band, which was their breakthrough album, New Miserable Experience. Which just goes to show, if a song you know is really good, try and try and try again until it becomes number one. Next up is Melt With You, originally by Modern English. Originally recorded and released in 1982 by new wave slash post-punk English group Modern English, which has been the band's biggest song to date and was used in 2005 for the Disney film Sky High, which was recorded by Bowling for Soup. The Bowling for Soup version had an accompanying music video, which depicted scenes from the film, a kazoo solo that replaced the guitar solos, and if you haven't heard... You've had to have heard I Melt With You at some point in your life. Whether it was the Bowling for Soup version, the original version by Modern English, Jason Mraz did a cover. It was on Reese Cup commercials. It was on cheeseburger commercials with Melty Cheese. Um, it's been it's been all over the place. I, you had to have heard it at some point in your life. And if you haven't, just go get a listen. It's going to be linked up below. Uh, Stacy's Mom by Fountains of Wayne. Sometimes you just gotta cave into the meme, which is exactly what Bowling for Soup did in 2011. For the band's digital studio album, I've never done anything like this. The band was frequently misattributed to being the original writers of this song, so they just kinda caved in and it even said live at some points, hey, remember that song, Stacy's Mom that we wrote? And the crowd would go crazy. And then Jarrett would say, no, you don't, because we didn't write that song, but we're gonna play it anyways, and then it would play it. And that song was by Fountains of Wayne. It was pretty much all over the radio in the early 2000s. My dad really liked the song. And that dropped in 2003 off of Fountain of Wayne's third studio album, Welcome Interstate Managers. This song is still on frequent radio play at parties um, and is the band's biggest song to date. St. Jimmy by Green Day. Recorded for Kerrang's Kerrang Does American Idiot compilation album in 2014, which is a compilation of Green Day cover songs ranging from bands all over from Falling in Reverse, to Neck Deep, to State Champs, to The Swellers, with Bowling for Soup covering St. Jimmy off of Green Day's 2004 album, American Idiot. It's really sick hearing a band like Bowling for Soup cover a band kind of similar like Green Day. It's one of those, I never thought I'd see that happen moments, but it did. Last, but certainly not least, is something that a lot of people don't know, and I actually didn't know until a couple months ago, which was the reason why I'm doing this now, is 1985, originally by SR71. That's right, Bowling for Soup didn't write 1985, that song that everybody knows that they did. That song was originally off of SR71's album, Here We Go Again, then re-recorded in 2004 by Bowling for Soup for their album, A Hangover You Don't Deserve. I like the BFS version a whole lot more. The band kind of rewrote it, made it their own, gave it a little more depth. They referenced a ton more 80s pop culture and music than the original version did. You should definitely check out both. I know you've heard at least the Bowling for Soup version. A lot of people don't know SR71's version, which is similar, kind of slower, um, a little repetitive, but it's a good song. Hashtag, the more you know. And that's my list. Thanks for sticking around for it. Uh, I'm gonna link up, again, all of these songs uh, in the description below. The original version and the Bowling for Soup cover, uh, they're, they're all gonna be in there down below. So without further ado, let's just, let's roll the outro. Yeah, the outro. Let's go. Hey guys, now that we're at the end of the video, thank you for like, commenting, and subscribing. You can check out daily blogs on thepoppunkdad.com, which features daily reviews and interviews from awesome bands. Head on over to the Pop Punk Dad official merch shop, where you can buy cool things like that right there. It helps the channel out and lets me know that you love me. I have a weekly podcast called the Pop Punk Dadcast, which is on SoundCloud and iTunes now. Please subscribe. While you're at it, cruise around and check out other content on this channel. You can check out all my social medias, my IG, my FB, and my Twitter, at the Pop Punk Dad. And above all else, guys, stay pop punk. Later.